stories that define our state's character. Here's Kevin Mackey with the best of NBC Montana moment. Celebrating five years of stories. Sponsored by Montana Chevy Dealers. Tonight, we continue to celebrate five years of Montana moments with a look back at some of our favorite stories. This week, it's a little off the beaten path, but for 26 years, an old-fashioned candy store has been attracting customers from all over the world. The Sweet Palace produces a fun, consumable product that brings in happy customers. In our Montana moment, Kevin Mackey spent a morning in Phillipsburg. That's that one back there. You want to try that one? Yeah. Young Hudson Knox came to Phillipsburg from Missoula with his folks, Sarah and JD. Yeah, we took out money out of his piggy bank to go pick out all of his own candy today. He's paying for his candy He's by himself He's paying for today. his own candy. Is that my favorite animal? Gummy penguins. When she was a child herself, Sweet Palace owner Shirley Beck knew that candy was very personal. One of eight kids, her parents could only afford to take three kids on vacation at a time. When it was Shirley's turn to go, she saved her money and bought candy. I got to spend it and I got to eat it and it was mine. Before Shirley and business partner Dale Sigford opened the Sweet Palace, Shirley watched a couple at a candy store in Coeur d'Alene. The husband said to his wife, let's get some candy. She turned to him and she said, are you kidding? You get your own damn candy. Well, I, I jumped on that right away. And everyone that came in, if it was two people, it was two sales. If it was four people, it was four sales. Shirley and Dale opened the Sweet Palace in an historic downtown building 22 years ago. I am passionate about this community. They make 50 kinds of fudge, 23 different caramels. I'm going to wrap some Huckleberry taffy. You know what? So this is a 1918 Model K taffy wrapper. Shirley says people come in and say, gosh, how far back does this go? And then they want you to turn them loose. Just let me get to the candy. Now, I like chocolate, coconut, and marshmallows. Now, this is my candy. The flip. Candy, says Shirley, is an experience and a memory. It was something that was special, and that's how I always saw candy, and that's how we present it. As many as 250,000 customers come through every year from points all over the world, but mostly it's Montanans. It is usually Montanans bringing others from somewhere else. We don't get crabby people. And on occasion, if you do, they aren't crabby when they leave. In the summer, it's a 14-hour day. During the Christmas season, Shirley works about 11 hours. They get lots of custom orders. They pay for it, and they said, that's it. Christmas is done. I'm going to Hawaii. Young Hudson's ready and puts his candy on the scale. Hudson chose and paid for his own special treat, his own candy, and his candy alone. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana. If you want to watch this story again, or if you missed one of my previous stories, you can watch every Montana moment in a special segment on our website at NBCMontana.com.